Some of you I know uh, just do a little like that. So do. that's fine too, just so long as you have that little thing that happens at the second stroke. What you don't want is don't want that. You want to kind of prolong it. Okay. Let's see what comes up next here. Um, you'll see that uh, selling little bottles of A7, one stroke, don't play after that. So there's a tacit, you see NC there, that's the same as tacit. So A7 right there is just gonna be one stroke, and then you're gonna say love potion number nine. Hmm? Let's get down to section B. We'll put this all together here in a moment, but I want to show you the tricks. She bent down and turned it around and give me a wink. That's all going to be G minor. Now E, kind of take a look at this. When you're playing G minor, you're doing this. To do E, all you do is slide down to here with those two fingers. So those fingers don't leave, like you got G minor here, these two fingers don't leave the strings. They just slide down. You've got second fret and fourth fret. Second, fourth. And if you can kind of flatten this finger on the fourth fret, that would be great. And then what I do is just tuck this other one in on the fourth fret of the first string. So it makes it easier to go from G minor, which looks like that, to first finger to the second fret. This finger slides to the fourth fret and kind of flattens, and then just add this finger here. So I tried E7 in this slot because it's easier to play, and it just it just didn't sound right. So I guess we're going to have to learn E. So. This looks a little clumsy, but you got second fret here and fourth fret notes right there. Yeah, but because we're coming from G minor, it yeah. does make it a lot easier to switch. Otherwise, it's a lot of gymnastics to get down there. And it only happens once in the song, so why not make it? It's like some kind of jazz fingering. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be the trickiest part of the song, so you might work on that move from G minor to E three times as much as you work on the rest of the song. Uh, because, you know, just the calypso strum and the word's going to be real easy. So, so in the ending, we're just going to go love. Love potion number nine. Love potion number nine. Love potion number nine. And if you want to do the lick, it's going to be. Uh, love potion number nine. Second fret, third string. Second fret, third string. Open string, uh, second string. So you're doing this string, this string. The potion number nine. Open. And then back to the note we started with. So it's going to be two zero two zero two. That's after three repeats. Okay, here we go. We're going to do it together. Let's take it kind of at a slower speed, um, like. Uh, I took my problem down, but like that, okay. Uh, 
So just uh, sing along, do the best you can. Um, and we'll give that a try. One, two, three, four. I took my problem down to Madaroon. Did you know that gypsy with the gold tattoo? She's got a head down in 34th and Vine. Selling little bottles of love potion number nine. Just uh, remembered uh, one thing I forgot to mention here. Um, on the third line, she's got a pad down on 34th and Vine. When you get to Vine, uh, you need to put a D minor in there, right at Vine. So that what nothing was there, but every arrangement I've heard today puts a, puts that there. So. She's, it's on the third line. She's got a pad down on 34th and fine, right there, right there at that spot. Just put a little D minor in there. Um, now, all the versions um, that I heard today, they're in a different key, so you're not gonna be able to play with anything on YouTube. Uh, it's quite a bit different. It's the original key. And the original key was uh, A minor instead of D minor. So. Won't be able to play along with YouTube, but we can play this together. <laughs> 